So then you'll see a pop-up box which asks to use your camera and microphone. Click the button that says allow and then if you want to check that your headphone or speakers is working, click play test sound. That shows that the sound is working and there should be a default microphone set. If you want to, you can change it. If you have a different microphone plugged in that you'd rather use, you can change that. But you probably won't need to do anything. Once you're happy with that, you just click join audio. We're currently the only person in this conference. And you'll see your name pop up here, which means that you're the first person here and you're in the audio part of the conference. Now, when other people join, you'll see their names appear up in the top left first. And then once they join the audio part of the conference, they'll appear here as well. Your webcam isn't on yet. To switch your webcam on, go to the top left corner, click the camera icon, and you'll see this box come up. In order to publish it so that other people can see it, click start sharing. And now Anyone else who's logged into the conference will be able to see you and you'll be able to see them if they do the same. And you can also move around any of the boxes that you see on the screen. So if there are 10 people in the conference, you can rearrange the, the camera icon so that you can see where everyone is. And now you can participate in the conference by listening and by speaking. And you can also do it by chat. You can see the window over here. And in that window, you can chat and ask questions. And this is very useful sometimes if your connection's not great, maybe people can't hear you clearly. You can type in a question over there. You can also have private chat in these tabs over here by selecting a person's name and sending them a private chat message. The moderator of the conference will have the ability to mute you and to mute other users and the reason for that is so that not everyone speaks at once and causes a lot of feedback so if you've been muted and you'd like to speak you click the hand icon over here a little hand comes up next to your name the moderator knows that you want to speak so the moderator can unmute you and ask you to and ask for your question ask you to speak um, that's all there is to it. It's really quite simple. We hope that you enjoy using Big Blue Button for web conferencing and that you find it useful. All the best. Okay, now the name of the rooms, you can have some, um, um, some basic name and it's going to give them some numbers. So I'm just going to call it discussion room. Let's say I'm going to create four breakout rooms. Um, I can either not move participants and allow them to move themselves or I'm going to distribute the participants evenly. Perhaps I don't have, you know, I don't want to do a quick, quick uh, division to know how many are people. Or I might want to have them divided into certain groups. So let's say I'm going to, you know, maybe I want groups of four. Uh, I could also include the moderators in the distribution or not. Um, you'll see moderators are able to move themselves from group to group. So sometimes you want them to be part of the, you know, part of the assigned discussion groups and maybe not. So let's click uh, create. And so in this case, because I had I told it I wanted groups of four, it says, hey, you've only got one participant, so you only need one room. And so here I do. I, I have a room, and I have one participant in there. If I wanted to join that person in that room, I would just click my little uh, participant name, and I would drag myself into that discussion room. And now we would have our own whiteboard to use that we could draw on if we wanted to draw on it. Uh, and then we could, uh, if I went back into the main room, I'd see that the main room has a different discussion board. And so this one doesn't have anything drawn on it yet because this is the main room. So if I go back in with a participant, it has its own whiteboard, it has its own audio channel, it has its own chat window. Um, or I can go back into the main room, which still has its own chat, chat uh, function, has its own um, whiteboard, etc. Now, because you're a moderator, you'll see, uh, oh, here's one difference about the chat window being seen by the moderator at all times. If you're not in that, win in that room, if you're in a different room, you will not see the chat going on in those other rooms. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Uh, so that's one way to do breakout rooms. Let's, take a, let's do it uh, one other way. So let's go back to breakout rooms. Well, how do we bring everybody back? Well, there's a nice little 
handy uh, selection here, return everyone to the main room. So what that does is it brings them all back. It doesn't delete the breakout rooms. If I wanted to delete the breakout room, I can use a little drop down menu here and just say I'm going to close the breakout room. So let's see if we're going to, let's, let's try to break, create breakout rooms one more time. Um, and I'm going to have, this time I'm going to have four rooms. I'll just say distribute participants evenly and I'm going to create them. So now I get these four rooms. Now I might want to rename these. And so once again in this little men menu over here, I can rename the breakout room and I'll just call this the, uh, the, golden, uh, the golden triangle. Uh, maybe they're going to be discussing the golden triangle. All right, and another group, uh, maybe they're going to be named something else. Uh, so let's just call them the, um, uh, the yellow submarine. This is the yellow submarine group. Uh, and click OK. And then I can move people from, from one room to another. Uh, I can move myself into another room. Um, so you can do a lot of different things with these. Um, so what I would do as an instructor is typically I'd put the students in breakout rooms and I would move myself from room to room to check in, check in on time, send a little note by chat saying, hey, we're going to be here for five more minutes or listen in or, or chime in if I needed to. Uh, and then when it's time to bring everybody back, I let them all know we're going to be coming back in about, you know, at a particular time. And then I would just go up to my, my menu and in the breakout rooms and just return everyone to the main room and we would go on with our class. That's the basics on using breakout rooms.